Yo guys, how's it going? Mad Gas here, and for today's video, I'm showing you all of the Apothecan Servant variants inside of Shadows of Evil. For those who don't know, the Apothecan Servant is the wonder weapon which you can build inside of Shadows of Evil, and there is a few variations. Each character gets their own variation, but we have yet to see all of these in one game mode or in one video for that matter and especially the upgraded version so i'm going to showcase them to you right now so without further ado let's just get into it okay so the first gun here is the core maroth and this one ties to jessica rose so when you build this when you're playing as her this is the version you get and always the unupgraded version of this they shoot the purple portals that suck the zombies in but let's take a look at Jessica's upgraded version that shoots the red portals. Right, so this is the Jessica Rose version of the upgraded Apothecan Servant, and it is now called the Core Marath Arbogoth. Arbogoth? I think that's how you say it. But yeah, this one now shoots red portals and simply does a lot more damage and lasts around a little bit longer to absorb the zombies and destroy them. It's pretty cool how they changed up the name for the Wonder Weapon for each character. I didn't actually realize this until playing through it and getting these Wonder Weapons to showcase for you guys. But yeah, let's get on to the next one. This next one is the Ma Astagua, and this one is for Floyd Campbell. Floyd Campbell being the boxer, so he gets his own name. This is the Ma Astagua, and this is the unupgraded version of the Apothecan Servant he uses. They're all pretty much the same, guys, just the name changes. So, yeah, let's just switch it up into the upgraded version. There we go. This is the Floyd Campbell upgraded Ma Astagua, the Apothecan Servant. Firing the red portals, there you go, and you can see it is the Ma Astagua Abogwaf. Like, and still can't see it properly. Uh, strange. On to the next one. The next version of the Apothecan Servant, or the actual name change, is the Nar Lacqua. And this one is for Nero Blackstone. Nero being the magician. Yeah. And like I said before, it's exactly the same as the unupgraded version. Let's switch it to the upgraded one. And here it is. Here is Nero's upgraded version of the Apothecan Servant, and this one also adds in the Arbogwaf on the end, the Nar Alakwa Arbogwaf. Ha! Huh. Pretty cool. I just think it's weird how they've all got different names, and then when they upgraded, they've got the Arbogwaf on the end. Madness. And this one for our final players, this one is for Jack Vincent. This is the Law Zarozar. And like before, exactly the same, no difference here. Let's just change it to the upgraded one so you can see what the name is on this. And like the last lot, this is simply the same. Law Zazorazor, what the friggin' hell it's called. Abagwath once again, and the name is just ridiculous. Why not just call it Apothecan Servant and be done with it? Why keep having these different name changes for different characters? Just fucking mind fuckery, Treyarch. Seriously. And a little special one at the end. This is called the Interdimensional Weapon. So as you can see, this is the Weapon Interdimensional Gun. And it is kind of looks like a prototype version of the Apothecan Servant. Sorry, it doesn't look like it. It acts like it. When you fire it, it just fires grenades that explode. It doesn't create portals. It literally just explodes the zombies into smithereens. So that's a pretty cool addition. It's a shame that we can't get this. This must just be like a beta test version of it. But yeah, I just thought I'd show this to you guys. Hope you did enjoy this video. If you did like this and you like these guns, leave a like on this. Comment down below what you think. If you are new to my channel, please subscribe and continue to dropkick your grandma.